New developments in the murder case of a Salt Lake City teenager from last May. The Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office saying he's now seeking the death penalty for her alleged killer. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen joining us in studio to explain what led to this decision and how the victim's family is feeling about it. Rosie. Glenn Emily, I talked to the victim's mother, Shauna Bagshaw, on the phone earlier today. She says she stands by Sim Gill's decision 100%, but he tells me it wasn't an easy decision for him to make. In the past eight years that Sim Gill has served as the Salt Lake County District Attorney, he says his office has only pursued the death penalty three times. And that's not a thing that, uh, um, that uh, we arrive at lightly. It's uh, something that is a very difficult and arduous process as it should be. Investigators say in May of last year, 26-year-old Sean French allegedly stabbed 15-year-old Bailey Bagshaw to death whom he had a prior sexual relationship with. Although Gill wouldn't go into too many details, he says the circumstances of the case is what led him to pursue the death penalty in this case. This was uh, done with a, a murder that was committed uh, with the purpose of keeping a witness from testifying or otherwise providing evidence to law enforcement. Gill says although he did consult with Bagshaw's mother and his team of attorneys, he made this decision alone because he did not want to pass that burden to anyone else. Uh, then I will actually literally set aside a day or two where I do nothing other than uh, just think about the case. I think about uh, the, the, uh, uh, the totality of all the information that I have. Nonetheless, he emphasizes that French had not been tried in court yet and there should be a presumption of innocence until the prosecution can meet their burden of proof. These are, these are cases that take a long process, and but uh, everybody has to cross their T's and dot their I's. Still a long and arduous road ahead before we see the end of this case. French's next court date is Monday, and appearing on camera for the first time tonight on ABC4 News at 10, Brittany Johnson will have the interview with the victim's mother. Glenn Emily, back to you.